Welcome to the Soy Noise channel. Um, this is videos about Anarcho Punk and the Black Panther Party. This is from like 25 years ago, so I'm sure I'm gonna leave a lot of stuff out. If you were there, feel free to leave a comment, whatever I left out, all right? Anarcho Punk and the Black Panther Party. Uh, long time ago in the 90s, uh, I believe it was 96 or 97, I'm not sure, 96. My friends and I went to South Central LA and met with the Panthers and stuff. Uh, it was a new Panther Vanguard movement. And uh, we went there. Uh, the reason we went there to network and went into that community is to learn. We went there to learn. That's the reason we went there. And whatever we learn, we bring it back into our scene and, and share it with them or do the organizing, the amazing organizing they did. Um, this pick is from the late 90s. That's my friend um, Colleen and Zaki. And um, it was a really historical time at that time for the uh, anarcho punk scene because normally in the early 90s, uh, if you go to punk shows, like a lot of kids will be drinking beers or there'll be beer cans everywhere or people will be doing drugs. But at that time, to the uh, 96 to the late 90s, the uh, scene was really progressive. Uh, you won't see any drugs or beer cans or beer bottle. The reason is not only do we network with the Black Panther Party, we also network with the vegan straight edge movement and also the uh, punk rock feminist, uh, Riot Girl, Riot Girl group. We all network together and work with the Panthers. Um, so um, this picture right here is Michael Zinzin and I. Michael, may he rest in paradise. Uh, Michael had a, a office called Coalition Against Police Abuse Office on Western Avenue. It's also a, a office of community support of the gang truce office. And it was really amazing there, of the organizing skills he had and everything. He brought it from the 60s and 70s to that office. They would give, um, like, you know, gang, former gang members and active gang member, they can't get jobs because they have records and stuff. So what uh, Michael did is um, they had a silk screening dome in the back. So uh, kids who have records who can't get a job, they will silk screen shirts for different companies or different groups. And that's how um, they get jobs. And they will go out around do workshops and then they have a community a computer class there as well for not just gang members or ex gang members for everybody and Michael also give us an open house and let us organize an event there and Michael would say hey um, what kind of groups will come come to this and I said Michael would be um, college students punk rocker animal rights activists and stuff and he would go to Trader Joe's and get all these snacks and give us a free open house, let us organize an event there called Solidarity Festival at Community Support of the Gang Truth slash COPPA Office. Um, 10 minutes away from um, COPPA Office in South Central LA, 10 minute drive, it was an International Panther Headquarters Office right next to Kwaku's Law Office. Um, Kwaku's attorney, he's a chairman of the New Panther Vanguard Movement. and. He would let us use that office, uh, the space to do uh, many benefit shows. We would organize shows with like animal rights groups. Oh gosh, I can't even count how many events we organized there. We would let us do fundraiser for different causes. We would get all these different groups together, not just music, even for uh, International Women's Day with speakers and everything. And then, um, they would have their own every Wednesday, like uh, community meeting forms. And my friends and I at that time were living in Orange County. We would drive there, have meeting with them, open discussion and everything. And also at rallies, we would meet at rallies, go to uh, carpool to protest together and everything. Um, also, um, they did a um, Black Panther newspaper there. They wrote about, you know, everything, all the stuff we did together. Really interesting time at that area i mean at that time also um at that time my friends and i did a, a a fanzine called beyond the wall of injustice fanzine it was a newsprint magazine we gave it out for free and everything and not only did we support political prisoner we also i mean not only we, we give out books to political prisoner we also network with uh, prison gangs because we want to learn about prison politics and everything even BGF will send us mails, we will get letters, and we would have our prisoners uh, write 
on stuff for the zine. And we will pass it on all for free. Free in prison, free at the show. We'll drop it off a different record store, pass it out at the rallies and everything like that. And also, we had study groups in Orange County in my apartment. Yes, it will be packed and our friends from South Central LA will come down there. Quaker will come there. On top of Panther came there. Everything. Uh, we would take turns to open discussion. OC Weekly will write about it, about this. And it was really interesting time. And then not that far from my apartment was a place called Coos Cafe. It was a cafe of all ages venue. And Coos Cafe would let us use the space for fundraiser. And we would do all kinds of stuff together. Uh, put on different uh, benefit shows or different fundraiser for all different causes and everything. So not only that, uh, Panthers and Talk, Panther and Talk will uh, come to my pad. We will all go, even hang out, go to a regular punk show, or I would take them to a different vegan or vegetarian restaurant. And early in the morning, they will spend the night at my house. We will go to Fullerton College and uh, pass out uh, flyers, zines, zines, a, a newsletter, and they would sell the Black Panther newspaper early in the morning. Um, not only were we doing political stuff together, we were friends hanging out. Also, after the late 90s, my friends and I continued to stay friends and stay in solidarity with the Black Panther parties. And if you want to learn more about the New Panther Vanguard Movement or the Black Panther Party, Southern California, get this book by Malik.